Peace forever and always. This is your brother, Taliki Ibn Ra, and welcome once again to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. I am the Angel Snub Nub 7, your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I just wanted to uh, offer my response to this question about the extermination of white people and to clarify my position on this uh, issue or subject matter. I first uh, would like to say, in revolution, according to past history, we have been unable to have revolution or rebellion of the people without bloodshed. So perhaps sometimes uh, this is something that cannot be avoided. But in the meantime, I would hope that we would think a bit more clearer. I would think that we would be more wiser. And in these things, I want to offer us these questions. Exterminate the white people. Kill the white people. That's what I hear. That's, why, that's what some people send me as an email, that I don't understand that the white man must be exterminated. That will solve the world's problems. Now listen to these points I make before you come up with that conclusion. These must be dealt with before you begin your uh, insane death march to exterminate this uh, Caucasian people. First of all, white is just a color. The color didn't do nothing to us. Caucasian color did not enslave. Caucasian color had nothing to do with any of these evils. It's just the color of a person, a shade of their skin. Either we have pigment in our skin or we don't. The main thing that you must take in consideration here is the mentality that encompass or that some or a vast majority of Caucasian people have. It's the mentality that has caused or wrecked havoc upon darker people or this planet itself. That's something that you must have to deal with because in many situations around the earth, there are no Caucasian people. Just like a brother said in our neighborhood, there are no Caucasian people in our neighborhood. But we murder each other as black people. There are no Caucasians and we steal from one another. There are no Caucasians but a black man will rape a black woman. Where is the Caucasian involved? It is not skin color. So you can exterminate all the white people but if that mentality is not destroyed, the only thing you did was set aside a color or a race of a people carrying that type of mentality, but you have still will lose because that mentality is still within us. Now, you want to kill the white people, exterminate the white people. You only want black people involved, but you don't have the support of black people. We are divided. He is over there, she is over there. We have no army. You have no money to support your army. You do not have the support of black people in America or around the world. You have no allies. There is no African nation that's going to back you up. There is no foreign nation that's going to back you up in your attempt. You have not the proper armaments, the proper tanks, the proper bombs, the proper tools needed in order to carry out this plan of extermination. And what is so sad, more, uh, many of you who claim that you want to exterminate black people and you call people cowards. I don't see any videos. This is your attitude. But I don't see any videos praising the young Nigerian, uh, young black man that attempted to blow up the airplane. None of you, even though that's what you said, that you want to commit or exterminate the white people. Here's a young black man that was going to take down a whole plane of them. 
You don't praise him. You don't honor him because you talk about somebody being a coward, but you won't say that outright. You might say it in your mind because you don't want that type of attention brought to you because really you're a coward yourself. Anybody can say anything. That young Nigerian did not only might not have only said it, but he took action upon it. You really don't want no part of this. Then you uh, are insane in your thinking. The only thing that's going to happen is that the black people that you claim that you want to free, those of us who are part of law enforcement, those of us who are in the military, will come and hunt you down when you begin your activity of so-called exterminating white people. You will be called a, a domestic terrorist, and you will be hunt down, and you will be killed. Then you will either be taken to the moor, or you will be given life without parole or you will sit on death row for years and you will not be seen as a hero you will be seen as an insane criminal running around killing white people you know why you will be seen not as a hero because in this world you don't want to admit but there are Caucasian people there are white people who had nothing to do with slavery that do, uh, that do not practice discrimination or evil against darker people. But you and your rage, you want to be just like them because they don't give a damn what black man they kill or oppress. They were just running around lynching a black man for the hell of it. And that's your mentality. So you won't be seen as a hero because you will be seen as the killer of innocence. Like I said, whether you like it or not, there are Caucasian people, there are white people, and you show me any proof that they had anything to do with the oppression of black people. There is a uh, minority that have always stood against slavery, that have always stood against segregation and the oppression of black people in America. And you just went around and exterminate the white people just like they decided to oppress all of us. So your attitude is no better than theirs. Then, let's say, for instance, if you do, for some reason, exterminate the white people, then what are you going to do? What type of world do you plan on building? What do you want to do? Turn everybody into Muslims? Do you want to turn everybody into Egyptians? Do you want to turn everybody into Moors? What is your plan for the human family? What do you plan for Asian people? What do you plan for the Native Americans? You want to exterminate the white people. You say that they are the main problems. But then when the white people are exterminated, you will continue to have problems because the mentality that really is the root of it that is the problem is still there. Just the fact that you want to exterminate white people shows that you are no better than they are. You still have the same mentality. Instead of it being uh, white uh, superiority, now you want to make it black. And you want to blame all the white people for your problem just like they blame us for all their problems, and we become no better than them. We should be wiser, we should be smarter, we should be wanting to create a world that is different than them. Because their world is crumbling, and those who like them, prior to them, that thought like that, they no longer exist. And if you want to exterminate the white people and create a world with this type of mentality, then we also will continue the same legacy, and we won't exist. I suggest that we be smarter. I suggest that we be wiser. And in this idea, this way of thinking, we should set aside and go on. If we want to exterminate white people, exterminate them in that mentality and decide to create a world that is different than what they've done, then when you destroy that mentality, you will exterminate the white people. This is your brother. Jot down your comments. This was and is the Realities Temple on earth.